Let's do it. Um, all right. So this is a nine minute writing video. Um, and you'll need your uh, word bag and um, your uh, composition notebook and about 25 minutes of free time. Um, so we're going to start by uh, numbering a page from 1 to 10. Number a page from 1 to 10. And um, then we'll do our little relaxation thing. So all you have to do right now is draw a spiral, a very tight spiral, um, with uh, your little pen. And while you're drawing your spiral, I'd like you to put all your concentration um, at the very tip top of your head and um, then the middle of your forehead, your temples, the back of your skull, your cheekbones, your nose, upper lip, um, your jaw, uh, the nape of your neck, your throat, your shoulders, really feel your shoulder blades, your collarbone, sternum, your rib cage, all the way down your spine to the base of your spine, your belly, your thighs, all your sensation in your knees, the backs of your knees, your shins, your calves, ankles, the soles of your feet, back up upper arms, elbows, forearms, your wrists, your hands, and here's our little poem, um, the Coleman Barks translation of Rumi's The Diver's Clothes Lying Empty on the Beach. You're sitting here with us, but you're also out walking in a field at dawn. You are yourself the animal we hunt when you come with us on the hunt. You're in your body like a plant is solid in the ground, yet you're wind. You're the diver's clothes lying empty on the beach, you're the fish. In the ocean are many bright strands and many dark strands like veins that are seen when a wing is lifted up. Your hidden self is bled in those, those veins that are like lute strings that play ocean music, not the sad edge of surf, but the sound of no shore. So go ahead and pull out um, a card from your word bag. Um, I'll pull out one from mine. What do we get if I pull one out? Oh, so mine is keep out. So the first, you'll have 90 seconds to write down the first uh, 10 memories that come from um, the word that you pulled out of your word bag, or you can use keep out if you wish. Um, so 90 seconds. Go ahead. You have about another 30 seconds. Starting to wrap up and concluding the word or phrase that you're writing. So now here are a list of um, images that have come to us from this word. I'd like you to look over the list and pick, up, pick one that seems vivid, circle it, and then uh, turn the page and uh, draw a big X on that page, and then write the, um, write the, the, the name of the image that you circled at the top as if it were the title of a story. 
So maybe mine would be, you know, under the porch. There was a there was a uh, an area that we were supposed to keep out of when I was a kid that was under the porch. All right. So now I want you to picture this image, and I'm going to ask you questions about it. I want you to pretend like we're on the telephone, and you can see the image. I can't. So I'm going to be asking you questions, and you're going to be answering me by writing them down anywhere on this X page. This is just our note page, so anywhere you want. Um, so let's start. I want you to picture this scene. Picture it, picture it. What time of day or night is it in this scene? And what season does it seem to be? And as you're picturing it, where is the light coming from? Is it coming from the sun or a lamp? Where is it coming from? And what kind of light is it? Where are you? What's the temperature like? And what does the air smell like? What are you doing? Is there anyone else in this image with you? If so, who? Why are you there? What are some of the sounds that you can hear in this image? And what are some of the things around you? What are some of the things you can see? What's directly in front of you? If you're going to turn your head and look to your right, what's in that direction? And if you're going to turn your head and look to your left, what's over there? What's behind you? What's below and around your feet? And what's above your head? All right. When you're ready, you'll be writing in the third person present tense. Um, you'll be uh, writing.